hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this hip illusion gown or hip illusion skirt i don't know what to call it but it is a double skirt and the outer one has a hip extra hip illusion so we are going to learn how to cut and sew it please remember that our online courses are going on so you are free to register so here are the fabrics that i'll be using i will use the ankara as the men's skirt and the dolphins as the as the outer skirt so for the ankara skirt i will use my accurate body measurements but the outer skirt will be different so this is the ankara skirt and i have folded uh, the fabric that we use so if you are making a skirt you will subtract two inches or one and a half for your band then you measure your shoulder to hip, shoulder to knee, and the full length of your skirt. But if you are sewing a gown, you will subtract the half length. If your half length is 16 or 17, you will subtract the half length. So I want to use a half, a half length of 17. So I will take out 17 or 8, sorry, 18. Then from there, I will mark from my shoulder to hip. And then from my shoulder to the knee and from the shoulder to the full length so the full length of the gown is 62 inches and i made this 64 because i don't want to add a lining to this gown i will i will hem the down part i'll fold the down part that's why i added, added extra two inches to the full length so back to the hip my hip is 40 and i will measure 40 like i said before you will use your accurate body measurements for the men's skirt so for the hip part the hip is 40 so i will divide the 40 by 4 that is 10 plus 2 inches that is 12 the 2 inches is for the seam allowance that is 12 so i'll mark 12 then the waistline is 30 inches 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 plus 2 inches seam allowance that is 9.5 so i'll connect from the hip to the waist then at the knee, the knee is my hip divided by 4. Like, divide your hip by 4 and mark exactly what you got. So my hip is 40. I divided it by 4. And that is 10. I marked 10 at the knee. And I will extend that 10 inches down to the full length of this gown. Like from the hip, I'll mark 10, 10, from the knee, sorry, from the knee, I'll mark 10 inches down to the full length. So I have connected the full length to the knee, from the he knee, I will cut uh, through the hip and the waist. So after that, I also cut the back part. The back part, I added 2 inches zipper allowance to it. So for the outer skirt, it does not have any zipper allowance like the short the outer gown or the outer skirt do not have any zipper allowance that is one of the difference between it and the men's skirt so this is the doll face for the outer skirt so i'll go ahead and subtract my half length like i did to the men to the main skirt so i'll subtract my half length then from there i'll measure from the shoulder to hip from the shoulder to knee and then the full length of where I want this outer skirt to be. So from the shoulder to the hip is 27, shoulder to knee 37 and the full length of this outer skirt is 40. So I measured 40. If you want it to be longer than 40 or shorter than 40, fine. You are free to determine where you want the full length to be. So I have marked the line. So at the hip, remember my normal hip measurement is... 40 right but i made this one 44 so i measured 11 plus one inch for seam allowance so the the not the men the men's the main skirt is um the hip is 40 but this one the hip is 44 so you can notice that i have increased the hip size then at the knee you will divide your hip by four that is 10 so the knee will remain the same the waist will remain the same but the hip will increase so the waist is still 30 the knee is still the 10 that we marked before and but the hip is 44 inches this time around so i'll go ahead and cut the back part so the front and the back will be equal 
because uh, we will not have, we will not add any zipper allowance to it. A zipper allowance is not needed, so the front and the back will be equal. So you can see I have two equal pieces there. So right now I'll go ahead and curve the shape I want this outer skirt to have. So from the allowance I'll come in by one inch. The one inch will serve as our allowance. Then from there you will curve to the center but you will not reach the waistline. I came down by like one and a half and I stopped. If you can see this line did not extend to the waistline. I came down by 1.5 or 2 inches. So after that I'll go ahead and cut this curve you will see where i stopped so this is where i stopped so one will be for the front and the other will be for the back so this one i'm holding right now will be our front and you can see i did not open the center i did not open through the waistline they are together so for the back part i will have to open the center because remember we are making this for a gown right so I'll have to open the center because the zipper will pass through that center. The zip at the back will pass through the center. So I'll open the center. So right now, this is the back. The back is separate, but the front is together. I'll go ahead and cut out the lining. I'm done cutting out the lining. And you can see the back. I have two linings for the back. And I have... Well, one for the front so you are going to add a hard stay a hard stay or a hard interface to this lining because if you use only your fabric on your and your lining it will not stand so this outer skirt will need some level of firmness before you can achieve the shape you want so i will add my hard gum or my hard interface to the lining so this is the skirt i'm done shaping you can see the slits at the back i am done shaping the skirt i shaped my normal um, hip measurements waist measurement knee measurements so here are the pieces for the outer skirt so i've added my interface to my lining right now i'll go ahead and turn the main fabric with the lining so this is the front i'll place the main fabric on it and i'll go ahead and turn so when you reach the center part do not sew up to the waistline just stop at the center and then continue i'll also do the same thing at the back so i'll go ahead and turn the back part separately we know that the back part is open at the center so i'll go ahead and turn all of them and i'll come back and show you guys so i am done turning right now if you want you can notch all round but i just trimmed off the pointy parts and i turned so i'll go ahead and turn all of them and after turning I will give them a very nice press so if you are turning you should use um, the pointy part of your scissors to push the pointy part of this outer skirt out so for the center you are going to notch the, the pointy parts you are going you can see I'm trimming down the allowance around the pointy parts then I'll also notch the center I will notch the in between so that when I turn it, it will relax very, very well. So after that, I will push out the pointy parts using my scissors. So after doing all this, you go ahead and iron them very, very well. Ironing is very important. So I'll go ahead and iron. I'm done ironing and this is what they look like. So right now, I will shape this outer skirt. The only measurement you need here is the waist. So I'll go ahead and mark my waist. My waist is 30. So the waist of this outer skirt and the men's and the main skirt should be equal. So they are 30, 30. So I have marked the 30. Then the rest of the measurements will be free. So I'll go ahead and shape. I'll go ahead and shape the waist and the hip. I will use just one inch half an inch to shape. So I am done shaping. I will go ahead and iron very, very well. 
then after ironing i'll come back and show you guys so i am done ironing and this is what i have so right now i'll go ahead and place it on the main skirt and i'll open up the zipper allowance of the main skirt i'll have to open it up and after opening it up i'll place the outer skirt on it I'll place it on it and then I'll go ahead and run a stitch you know to hold the both of them together so after doing that your skirt is ready you are free to add the upper part you can see how beautiful it looks and it gives us a perfect hip illusion so guys feel free to try this out and remember to register for our blazer our corsets our trousers and jumpsuit class they are ongoing so you are free to register please please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to get notified so see you guys in my next video bye